Okay, guys, so we are looking at Eric here's set again here, the uh, spirit of Eric here. And what we are doing is running at a greater Rift 60 on this one. We've done a little bit of optimization, pumping out just over 900,000 DPS. And the set is really performing well. I've made it through a greater Rift 60 a couple of times running now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you all that one. I'm going to go over the build real quick, go over the skill set, just like we did in our previous video. And then we're going to head on down into the Rift. So the build, obviously, Eric here stride, and we've optimized it with the boot with the uh, boots increasing fire bat damage by 15%. We've got the pants are just fairly standard issue here. The chest is increasing vitality, and the hat is increasing vitality, and it has plus 23% life in it to really kick up our life and survivability to close to 800,000 health. We've got the gloves here uh, increasing our crit chance and damage to ramp up our damage. And then we have gargantuan damage on this one, not really optimized. We could still do some work on this and it's still performing quite well. We are running as well the uh, endless walk set, which will have Bane of the Trapped here. Uh, increased damage against enemies under the effects of control impairing effects. So that's going to be all of our hex stuff is going to work with that. So anytime you see somebody popped into a little sheep or a little pig form, that's going to help there. We're also going to be running the pain enhancer in our ring, which works really well. Which critical hits cause the enemy to bleed. With the enemies bleeding, that's going to uh, give us the Blood Frenzy perk, granting you 3% increased attack speed for each enemy bleeding within 20 yards. And since we're going to be inside of all of these guys all the time, we're going to be attacking extremely fast. So we're going to be doing a lot of damage there. The belt we're going to be running is the Jungle Wraps, which increases Fire Bat's damage to enemies affected by Locust Swarm. So that's going to help us out a lot, and that's also running Vitality to increase our survivability. Then we have the Lakumba's Ornament, reduce all damage taken by 6% for each stack of Soul Harvest you have. And that one's running Vitality as well. Once again, we're just trying to ramp up that survivability. Uh, we do have a Convention of Elements here, which means you know, we're going to be running so many different elements here just about all the time. We're going to be doing that extra... Uh, damage as well that extra 181 percent increased damage which is huge and then right here we have the vile hive increasing our fire bats damage and giving locust swarm the effect of pestilence and dealing an extra 45 percent increased damage so this one is a very useful one for us to have all the way around in the cube we're actually running the staff of corruptora mantle of channeling and the Ring of Emptiness. So that's going to be dealing 300% increased damage to anything that we can get that Haunt and Locust Swarm on. This is great for single target damage. Mantle of Channeling is going to ramp up our damage and keep us alive a little bit longer and make the uh, Fire Bats cost a little bit, a good bit less and attack 100% faster. So that's all pretty useful stuff there. Looking at our skills, we're looking at Fire Bats doing the swirl around us. Uh, ramping up to a maximum of 850% weapon damage. Locust Swarm doing a cloud of insects and getting that Pestilence rune, which is 100% chance to jump to two additional enemies instead of one. So that Locust Swarm is going to be all over the place. We're going to be doing the Haunt, the one that does 4,000 weapon damage. It's physical over 12 seconds. Basically, we're trying to focus down a single target with this buff as well. Hex with the Jinx. Pretty useful stuff there. Summons a fetish shopping for 12 seconds that will hex groups of enemies into pigs. If I'm not mistaken, this one right here, hex gains the effect of Toad of Hugeness as well. So whenever you're looking at this, the Toad of Hugeness, a giant toad that pulls in enemies, briefly swallows them whole and spits them back out to deal 750% weapon damage and increases their damage taken. So once again, huge against single targets. Soul Harvest, we're doing the one that gives us the armor. And since it can stack 10 times, we can increase our armor up to 100% and give us an extra 30% intelligence, which ramps up our survivability and our damage. And then Spirit Walk, allowing us to regain 20% of our maximum mana when we activate it. We do have Creeping Death, which keeps our Locust Swarms and Haunts all the way up all the time. Spirit Vessel, as always, keep us alive. 
grave injustice to keep our cool down since everything's going to be dying right around us and to give us our life and mana back constantly. And then confidence ritual to deal that extra damage since everybody's going to be right around us. Like I said, this build is pretty scalable. It's been working well so far. So we're going to take it out on the rift and I'm going to let you guys see what we've got. Okay, so as you no doubt saw, I stepped into the rift and immediately died. That's just how important those stacks of haunt, or not haunt, but uh, soul harvest can be. If you don't have ten of those up, you are extremely squishy, and I just couldn't time anything right, couldn't get it off right. But I finally got it going, and as you see, that was a personal best for that run, even though I died at the beginning. So it is a very scalable set. It works quite well. Uh, once again, just to look at some of the things you are doing, uh, Sacred Harvester, the Bakuli Jungle Wraps, the Lakumba's Ornament, and the Vile Hive. All, th all four of those are absolutely essential. This one is kind of up to you. Whatever you put in that secondary ring slot, kind of up to you. And the skills are, as you see here, those are all pretty useful as well. As always though guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Otherwise, like and subscribe to stay up to date with all of my latest builds. Thanks again guys and have a great day.